Hi, this is Claudio Burston here to give you a brief overview of the new updates to the Conference Room Designer. In this new version, we have added support for the new Parlay conferencing bars as well as the BD250 conferencing camera. Let's take a look. I'll start a new project. Let's call it Gemini. I'll add a company name and the system designer name. Now let's create a medium-sized room. Let's say it's 24 by 14 with a 10-foot ceiling. Let's add a rectangular 14 by 4.5 conferencing table and then continue to devices. In this dialog, you can see we have added both the Parlay conferencing video bar and the Parlay conferencing audio bar to the mic style selection. We have also added the option to use a camera in your design. As you select different mic style options, some of the other settings might not be applicable, so they will be hidden. Let's select the video bar and continue to the room. This will take us directly to the mic coverage view, where we can see how the Parlay conferencing bar can cover this medium-sized room. The speaker menu shows the relative average level in the room and how the level decays as you get farther from the speaker. We have added a new menu to show the camera coverage. The color changes towards the back, indicating where the image starts to get blurry. As with other devices, we can move the camera by clicking on the Move icon, grabbing the camera, and moving it. Since this is the video bar, the mic and the speaker will also change accordingly. Notice in this case that the camera will always be pointing straight ahead, because it is unlikely that a conferencing bar will be at an angle from the wall. Let's create a large room now. Let's say it's 50 by 30 by 10. We'll use the same table size. This time we'll use the soundbar. It is exactly the same as the video bar, but without the camera. In this case, we can select whether we also want the camera or not. We'll leave it selected. For this large room, we can see a conferencing bar would not be sufficient and a different microphone style might be required. I leave it selected so I can show you the acoustic settings. If we go to acoustics and go through the different settings, we can see how the maximum pickup distance from the bar changes. The same is true for speakers, as different acoustic settings imply different levels of background noise. Now let's go back to the camera view, click on the move icon, grab the camera and move it. As before, the camera moves along the perimeter of the room. But since this is now just the camera and not the video bar, the camera is showing pointing at the center of the table. If there's no table, the camera will point to the center of the room. In this bigger room, the camera will capture all the way to the back of the room, but anybody standing in the white area might be a little bit blurry. In the equipment list for this room, we can see we require the soundbar plus the VD250 camera. In this dialog, we can deselect the camera if we don't want it. If we go back to the medium room, we can see we only have the video bar in the equipment list, and there is no option to deselect the camera. Once done, we can save this project, export it to PDF, or even request a quote. If you export to PDF, you will see the new document also includes the camera map and position. With these new features and updates, designing a conferencing room with a new parlay conferencing bar is just a few clicks away.